Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video we travel into the cosmos as we explore a selection of horror games which take place in outer space. Space is scary, an infinite void of burning fire, zero gravity, and, to quote a famous movie slogan, a place where no one can hear you scream. Without doubt, this dark, cold environment of complete isolation is the perfect location for a horror game to set its stage. So sit back, relax, and let us explore eight of the scariest. Set within a bleak cyberpunk themed future and aboard a space station, System Shock is one of the older games on today's rundown. It first launched back in 1994, however a remake is coming later this year. For its time, System Shock was quite revolutionary, allowing players to explore the space station setting freely. However, not all is well within this interstellar vessel, as a rogue AI known as Shodan has hijacked the facility's computer systems and turned man-made technology back on its creators. With all ethical constraints removed, Shodan re-examine, re 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 I re-examine my priorities. We play as a hacker who first allowed this AI to become rogue and must now try and shut down Shodan once and for all. Before we get the opportunity to do this, we must battle through waves of humanoid mutants and cyborg drones all under Shodan's control. The space station feels eerie and bleak, and with the AI controlling cameras everywhere, it's hard to shake the feeling of being watched, even when we're alone. Playing very much like a space-themed Resident Evil, Martian Gothic Unification centres around a group of characters sent from Earth to a Martian base called Vita-1, mankind's first outer planet colony on Mars. The final broadcast from this base was nearly one year ago, and so a rescue team is deployed to check in on the researchers living there. Of course, upon their arrival we discover the residents are dead, or rather, undead, turned into zombie-like monsters after they opened a Pandora's box, which set off a chain of cosmic chaos. What makes this game really unique is a gameplay mechanic where we can switch between the three main characters at any point. It is important to do this so that they never meet one another face to face during the game, as if they do, the alien force unleashed on the base will cause their bodies to meld together in a trimorph. So we must listen to radio transmissions to track where our teammates are and make sure they are kept apart as we try to solve the game's many mysteries. This adds a further element of stress to an already creepy space-themed horror game and is a gameplay mechanic seen in very few, if any, games since. A rescue team is sent in to communicate with a space station gone silent, a plot used in many of the games on today's list. However, Dead Space is surely one of the scariest due to its now iconic enemy, the Necromorph, a mutation which can only be defeated by dismemberment. These necromorphs are highly mutated humans who took on this form after being reanimated by an otherworldly relic known as the Marker, which emits an electromagnetic field. As well as creating monsters from human bodies, the EMF transmissions from this Marker also make the living hallucinate and turn insane. The game follows protagonist Isaac as he attempts to escape from the necromorph infested facility after his ship crash lands there and his crewmates are ambushed and split up. The hell? I don't know, something's in the room with us. Jesus! Over fire! Over fire! Send up power! Dead Space puts its space station setting to good use. There are zero gravity sequences and moments where we must survive with limited oxygen outside the ship while travelling from area to area. That, combined with ever more horrifying human mutations, make for an unforgettable horror game only made possible by virtue of its intergalactic locale.
You may think point and click horror games aren't typically the scariest in the genre, and usually you'd be right. However, Stasis is one of a few exceptions and manages to use its isometric viewpoint to put genuine terror in the hearts of its players. We play as John Marachek, a man with an unknown backstory who awakens from Stasis to find himself aboard a spaceship known as Groom Lake. His wife and child are missing, and the spaceship seems abandoned. This mysterious ship is plunging towards the toxic atmosphere of Neptune, and Johnny must uncover the truth behind what happened aboard it in the meantime. The story is mostly presented through data entries written by the crew of the ship as they rapidly descended into madness. Reading some of these disturbing text walls is sure to send a shiver down your spine. So while Stasis isn't a combat focused game, it uses a bleak, lonely atmosphere to slowly get under our skin as we solve puzzles and unravel its horrifying narrative. The ship is covered in the remnants of a disaster past and contains plenty of gory imagery to really set the scene for what came before John's awakening. You'll need a strong stomach and brave constitution to learn the truth behind Groom Lake and the fate of its crew. Morgan Yu is a test subject working aboard a space station known as Talos-1, whose scientists have been researching an alien life form known as Typhon. Unfortunately, these parasitic lifeforms escaped containment and wreaked havoc on the inhabitants of the facility. Where's my coffee? That's empty. Oh my god! Security! Security! The scientists call these aliens mimics because they can quite literally mimic anything in the environment, meaning as we explore, we never really know if these aliens are about. Prey incorporates sequences where we explore the space station both inside and out. Suffice to say, exploring via zero gravity and looking in at the monster infested halls of the structure is quite a chilling experience. Luckily we are given some weapons to defend ourselves, so while the shape-shifting alien threats are intimidating, we aren't completely defenceless as with certain other titles on today's rundown. While exploring this floating research facility known as Talos-1, we find data logs and recordings from its staff members, shedding light on the horrifying events that occurred aboard this facility and how they came to pass. In Echo Night Beyond, we play as Richard Osmond, who is flying a space shuttle to a moon base with his fiancée Claudia. They plan to marry upon arrival to the base until a supernatural force causes them to crash land. This accident kills many of the crew who now become ghosts haunting the moon base. Richard wakes from the crash alone and begins exploring the haunted space station in search of his bride-to-be. What makes Echo Knight unique is the way in which it handles its gameplay. We have no weapons and instead must run from the ghostly apparitions now out to get us. If Richard's heart rate goes too high, then he suffers cardiac arrest and it's game over. We also have to keep the batteries of our spacesuit charged so our flashlight doesn't die along the way. This results in many tense gameplay sequences as we explore the gloomy space station and attempt to repair sections of the broken ventilation system to purify the souls of the dead and set them free. The game's ending also varies depending on choices made by the player during Richard's adventure, all this making for a unique horror experience unlike most others. While Doom has always featured some horrifying enemy designs, there's no doubt that original entries in this popular FPS series favoured action over horror. This changed with the release of Doom 3, which, for its time, was one of the scariest games ever made. 
Set in the year 2145 within a research facility on planet Mars, we play as a marine who discovers the sinister UAC or Union Aerospace Corporation have been dabbling in demonic rituals, opening a hell portal which has invited all manner of evil life forms into their facility. And so of course it's now up to us and our arsenal of demon slaying tools to save the day. Doom 3 is far slower paced than you'd expect from this series, instead focusing on jump scares and survival horror within dark claustrophobic environments and the isolation of its space setting to create an immense feeling of dread at every turn. The monsters are terrifying and environments foreboding. It's one of the few genuinely scary first person shooter campaigns out there and made all the more unsettling by its deep space setting. The Alien series has terrified moviegoers for decades and many games have been released based around these creepy xenomorph predators. However, few are as well executed and downright scary as Alien Isolation. We play as the daughter of the original Alien victim, Ellen Ripley, who travels into the deep reaches of outer space to investigate a distress call which allegedly came from her mother. This call leads Ripley's daughter and the team accompanying her aboard a space station inhabited by the aforementioned iconic movie monster. Of course we become stranded inside this alien infested space complex and now must find a way to escape, navigating the often all too quiet corridors of this space station as we look and listen for warning signs of an impending alien threat is truly the stuff of nightmares. The game uses a motion detector to pick up on enemy movement and mostly relies on stealth and patience rather than weaponry to defeat said dangers. It isn't just the alien out to get us either as scared survivors and androids also pose a threat. Imagine being trapped aboard a space station with this alien hunting you in the darkness and no way to call for help, knowing the nearest planet is several months travel away. One of the many reasons why horror games set in space are so chilling to play, and Alien Isolation surely is a prime example of this, so good luck if you dare to play it for yourself. And with that we come to the end of today's video. I do hope you enjoyed it and if you did remember to leave a like and comment down below and of course subscribe for more horror related content. Thanks for watching and I will see you on the next one.